Hey everyone, I'm making a version 2 of this video just to cover a few additional points I thought I missed in the first one and to make sure that it's as easy to follow as possible. So we're going to be making a treble bleed mod for a little less than $2 and this one's going to be in parallel. So to start, you're going to need a 0.022 microfarad capacitor. You can see I got mine from Tata Electronics. And when you get one out of the box, it's going to look a little bit like this. Just two pins, very simple. From there, we're going to grab one resistor, a 150k ohm quarter watt resistor, metal oxide preferably, or something like it. This is what mine looked like. Lay that resistor across the two pins of the capacitor, wrapping one of each of the legs, like so. When it's done, it should look a little bit like this. And from there, you're gonna solder each of those together and it will look like this when you're finished. From there, you're gonna grab the mob and take it and install it in your guitar. This is what the control plate of my Flying V looks like where I'm installing it. I'm pointing to where I'm installing the mod. The output pin and the VCC pin, the lugs on this volume pot are where the mod will go. So. When you're installing it, it will look like this. And effectively, what the mod's doing here is it's affecting both the output and the VCC lug in parallel. So when you turn it up and down, the mod moves with the volume pop. We'll explain that a little bit more later. When that's done, it will look a little bit like this. I did two on my guitar because I've got two volume pots. And then we're gonna go ahead and test our results. Multimeter is what you're gonna need here. Bottom right, uh, the test diode mode, LED test diode mode is what you want. And you can test it from one of the pins on the capacitor, say to the pickup selector, you should get a little buzz when it's successful. Boom, good to go. So to explain a little bit about what this mod does, effectively, when you've got a volume pot on a guitar, you have a resonant peak to that. When it's turned all the way up, it's at its uh, kind of limit in terms of what you can get out of it. And as you turn it down, it kind of fades away. Now, what the treble bleed does is it effectively moves that resonant peak with your volume so that your um, volume kind of stays a little bit uh, more high end and a little less muddy.